Okay, sorry, guys. Hey, Anna. <laughs> 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 Very good. Okay. Hey, Anna. Um, okay, I have a question. Now, everybody knows that you are an incredible hostess, but what is the coolest, most amazing party or event that you've thrown that nobody knows about? Certainly one of the coolest dinners that I have ever given, and certainly nobody knows about it, was when you and Justin came for dinner. I think it was back in May 2009, because Justin was hosting with me the Met Gala that year, which the theme was the model as muse. And I traditionally give a very small dinner at my house beforehand, and you two came looking wonderful and glamorous, and I, I think our other dinner guest was Mark Jacobs. And then for something that was a little bit more crowded, there was a party that I gave at my house in the country to celebrate Hamish Bowles, our editor-in-large at American Vogue, being with Vogue for 25 years and also his 50th birthday. And we decided that the theme would be Great Gatsby. And we were lucky enough to include Baz Luhrmann, who had just or was about to direct The Great Gatsby at that time. So he orchestrated the whole evening, including the arrival of Hamish on a Gatsby-like throne. And this he didn't orchestrate, but it was magically um, part of the night. My house looks onto the water, and there was the perfect full Gatsby moon looking out onto Hamish and his dinner companions. Hey, Anna, I think we're at a time where we all understand that we have too much stuff. What's a good non-gift to give? Two things to think about for a non-gift are theater tickets to somebody who really enjoys going to the theater or to a musical or to dance, something that they can, an evening that they can truly enjoy and also think of you. And if they're not so much into going to Broadway or off-Broadway, I would recommend, if you can possibly arrange it, a tour of an exhibition that they would be interested in seeing, hopefully given by a curator or somebody who has real knowledge of that subject. Tell us, Anna, what are the rules of regifting? I think that regifting is totally fine as long as you're transparent and honest about it. You don't pretend that you actually thoughtfully went out and combed uh, Saks Fifth Avenue to look for that particular gift, but just say somebody sent this to me and I thought that it was perfect for you. Hi Anna, what celebrity can I look to for my holiday style inspiration this season? Great question. I don't think that you can go wrong with the Duchess of Cambridge who always looks impeccable. And I think right, right now when we're thinking very much about styles that are a little bit more classic and have a heritage feeling, when you look at what she wears when she goes to church. Could be a Catherine Walker dark red princess coat or when she has to go out at night with her husband, something a little bit more glamorous like a McQueen, but she always looks absolutely impeccable. Hey Anna, what's the worst gift you've ever received? The worst gifts that I receive are the ones that obviously have been picked out, not by the person who's sending it to you and that you know that it was dictated to an assistant or checked off by someone that's never met you, has no relevance to you or to your life. Surely so much better to give a donation in somebody's name to the charity of their choice rather than some goddamn candle that you've already received 50 of. Hey Anna, what's the best gift you've ever received? So I had a wonderful friend who came to stay with me in the country and I have a lot of bedrooms that require that they're in barns that require separate keys and I couldn't find any of uh, of the keys that particular weekend so none of my guests could get into their barns. So she spent a lot of time carefully having made these amazing luggage tags with keys attached and the name of the barns on each differently colored leather tag. And I thought that was thoughtful and useful and I hope she comes back every single weekend. Hi Anna, what's the best gift you've ever given? Well, I gave my husband a puppy once, and he gave it back to me the next day. So obviously, I thought it was a great gift, but those sentiments were not sh shared, but I got to keep the dog.
Hey Anna, what's a good gift for my mother-in-law? Well, that's a tough question because mother-in-laws can be tricky. But my advice is find a wonderful photograph of your partner with your mother-in-law, find a fantastic frame and present that. Can't go wrong. Hi Anna, do you have any holiday traditions? Yes, I have one holiday tradition that I love in that every year I, uh, I go down to uh, the Dominican Republic and I am always very kindly asked to give the trophy for the local tennis tournament to whoever the winner may be. And I always make a point of bringing either sneakers or tennis rackets to all the ball boys who work at the local club. Hey Anna, do you have any tips for shopping for a new coat? Yes, absolutely. You should look at Vogue's November issue where we have a wonderful shoot styled by Tabitha Simmons and photographed by Dan Jackson and the coats are worn by Kendall Jenner. And there's everything from a great little Burberry check puffer to a Versace fake le leopard coat, Max Mara red military look and a wonderful Marc Jacobs topper. I really think there's a coat in there for everybody. Hey Anna, what's the best holiday vacation you've ever taken? The best holiday vacation that I have ever taken is always when I go away with my family. Hi Anna, what's a gift I can give my husband who thinks he knows everything about fashion? What doesn't he know yet? Well, I have consulted GQ for your question and Will Welsh, who's the editor-in-chief of GQ, says to tell your husband that whatever he's wearing, it's too tight. And that GQ recommends for a holiday gift, something that is oversized, and that for inspiration, you should look at the GQ style cover of Tom Holland. Uh, since you've traveled so much, do you have any packing tips? You're absolutely right. I travel all the time, but I am the wrong, wrong person to ask that question because I always, always overpack. Hi Anna, I'm throwing a party for Christmas. What are your entertaining tips and what gets on your nerves? Well, first of all, what gets on my nerves is when people cancel the day off with a really lame excuse. And my advice is make sure when you seat them for dinner, they are seated next to somebody that they know and hopefully like, and then somebody you think that they're gonna be excited to meet. And my other piece of advice, keep it moving.